Robert. Well, obviously, um, you know, uh, Earl, you know, getting injured and uh, going out, uh, he's one of the greatest players to ever play the game. You know, one of the greatest players to ever play the game, and he always will be, um, and he'll come back stronger. Uh, definitely believe that in him. Uh, he's a competitor, and there's nobody that competes better than him. You know, think about Earl, a little story about Earl. You know, I've been fortunate to play with him for seven years now. And uh, one of my favorite things about Earl is every time I go out for walkthrough, you know, right before we go out to the field, you know, he's, he's putting his headband on, getting his wristbands ready, towel ready. He's getting in the zone like it's the championship game every time. And there's only so many guys in the world that get to do that, that do that that way, you know. And, um, you know, I think that Earl is a guy that's going to be one of the greatest of all time, you know. And uh, I just think that um, it's an unfortunate situation, uh, you know. And, you know, but, you know, we're, we're going to love him, and he's going he's gonna, to uh, come back at some point, you know, and be better, and he's going to work his tail off. I know that. And just believe in him and uh, love his family, too. You know, our kids hang out together. We get to see each other all the time and his family and stuff like that. So, you know, he's a brother in that way. So uh, it's very, definitely disappointing. Do you think you'll ever play in the same field as him? Say again? Do you think you'll ever play in the same field as him again? I hope so. You know, I hope I, hope, I, hope I get to play with Earl again. You know, he's uh, um, – you know, he's, he's just fun to play with. You know, he's a competitor. Like I said, you know, the how he practices uh, makes everybody else practice better. You know, and just um, just love who he is as a person. This is two years in a row now on this field that has happened, and then you have to rally or finish the game or in this case win the game. Can you describe that coach position and situation? Well, I mean, um, sometimes I think we just as players, as 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 fans, as as people who just love sports or just watch the game occasionally, um, you know, I think that we we sometimes forget that uh, you know this is this is our livelihood. You know, this is something that we wake up ever since we were. You know, I remember when I was four years old. You know, throwing the football with my dad. You know, he had a San Diego Chargers football he caught against the 49ers, and uh, you know, and I just you know those are the things that you dream about. You know, and um, you know the thing about this game is. You hope to play it forever, you know, but it is never forever, and you never know when when injuries are going to happen or when just the game isn't over or whatever it may be. I do believe for Earl it's not over, though. Uh, I do believe that he'll come back stronger than ever. Um, but there's, there's that's the unfortunate part about this game. But the, you know, um, but it's it's part of the process, I guess. And um, you know, but I think that um, you know, in terms of your question specifically, um, you know, you I, I think that the thing that we did really really, really good tonight was we rallied together. We played pretty good early on and kind of got off a little bit. We kept battling back and forth. It's always a tough game against Arizona. Um, it's always a challenge for sure, um, and it's always been that way. Um, but we were able to stay the course and um, be able to move the ball down the field in the last drive of the game. No much time, not much time left. Uh, do our process the right way and be really you know, execute at a high, high level. And sure enough, uh, give one of the best kickers you know, ever to play the game a chance again. And uh, we believe in him, and he, he did a great job of making the field goal. You and Earl chatted in the locker room a little bit. How are your spirits? Uh, that, that's, that's, you know, that's, that's uh, personal stuff. That's why the, that's the locker room is the locker room. Um, but, you know, I, I, I think that he'll be, he'll be just fine. I think he'll be encouraged for sure. What was the mindset like? I mean, when you get to, they miss the field goal, you get, you get back out there, now you know the field goal can win and all that. What was kind of that? Um, you know, I think that, um, you know, for us, anytime there's time on the clock, we believe. There's a chance. We've done it so many times before. There's never a doubt. And, uh, you know, um, we got the ball back um, and we just, you know, we, we just moved right down the field and made our plays. The guys made great plays um, and just we stayed on it. The offensive line did a tremendous job of blocking things up and giving me enough time to make some throws. And we did some great runs and uh, mixed it up a little bit there. And just uh, we, we practiced it so often, so many times, and we've done it so many times successfully. Uh, that we believe that every time that we're going to do it, it's going to be, a, you know, in, in the next best moment. You know, we believe that, and so just to uh, knock the, you know, the the game-winning field goal with Janikowski there, it's uh, it gives you uh, a view of believing, you know, and just continue to just continue to do. It's a long journey, you know. And you continue to believe, and those moments are great moments. And um, you know, to be a great team, you know, and there's a lot more to do, but to be a great team, you have to have great moments like that. Uh, you have to be able to fight through adversity in moments and be able to overcome some way, somehow. And we were able to do that tonight. Pete, you thought, Pete was saying he thought the, in, the injuries and all that kind of played into the emotion of the celebration after the game. Did you get that sense that kind of 
because of everything that happened that maybe you felt? Uh, I would say maybe partially. You know, I think that um, obviously, you know, to lose a guy like Disley, you know, a guy who's, you know, just made so many great plays as a rookie. I mean, he, you know, he could be rookie of the year type player, you know, and just has made done so many special things, has worked so hard, has come in at the highest, highest level professionally. Um, a tremendous job coming from University of Washington right to you know to us here in Seattle and just done so many great things and then you know whenever you got, lose a guy like Earl who's been such a, a critical part of of just the journey over the past seven years you know he's you know he's meant so much you know and I think that um, that's why we, we love each other so much because we know what, what it's about you know we get to go to work every day you know imagine waking up with your family every day that's what we did to do you know, and just being around each other. And so that's how we view each other. And, um, you know, so to be able to win the game, obviously, you know, Jenna Cassie, like I said, one of the best kickers of all time, you know, had a little bit of trouble early, obviously. Um, but, you know, there was no doubt that he was going to win the game. You know, he just, he, it's in his blood, you know, and he's done it so many times, and you, you can't doubt in those moments. How much does it help you when you guys are able to run the ball as physically as you have the last couple of weeks? Well, we were able to run the ball really well. You know, I think that today, you know, we were able to get in the end zone. I think Mike, Mike Davis stepped up in a huge, huge way. He was the star of the game, I think, just making so many plays. Um, he's, he's an explosive player. Um, you know, he works the right way. He's a professional. He comes in ready, um, you know, just always learning, always ready to make plays. You know, he's done that so many times and times again. Um, so that, that was huge for us. I thought Penny made some good runs, too, when he got a chance to as well. Um, that was great to see. Um, but you got to get good tribute to the offensive line. They're, they're, they're blocking their tails off and they're physical as can be. And just to see those guys doing what they do best is pretty cool. You might have the best run block of the day, though, right? Uh, you know, I'll do, do whatever it takes, you know. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's all about winning. So, um, oh, it's fun with that. Say again. Was that fun for you? That I've fun? made a couple blocks in my time. You know? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I mean, anytime a guy gets an end zone on, on something like that, it's always great. For all this success you had on offense, though, wasn't saying you guys were you know over ten on third downs. So you had a hard time converting. Yeah, you know, up. I think the, some of the third downs we had a couple third and longs we almost got, but then we had um, we had a three to four one three to four third downs that we were just just short of getting them. So. Um, they did a good job, you know, but we got a lot of first downs. We made our plays when we needed to. Like I said, this game's always a battle. You know, NFC West game, it's always a challenge, but um, we have no doubt in what, we, what we're doing and how to do it. Big picture for what this, the first month, two and two, another range of coming in. Of, <coughs> how this win could have been lost good. Um, you know, I think at the end of the day, you know, we're two and two, like you said. I think that, um, you know, we, we wish we could be four and oh, but, uh, you know, there's no, there's no, hopeful wishing here. I think that you have to be able to uh, just stay the course, you know, and just stay the course, play one game at a time. Every game's a championship style of game and just believing in that. And so um, we're going to celebrate this win in the sense that, you know, we came on the road, a great environment, loud, it was, uh, you know, a lot of fans from you know, obviously Seahawks fans being here. It's always great to play here and just, um, and, you know, obviously, it's, you know, it's such an amazing, uh, you know, amazing, amazing stadium. So to be in here and get a huge win, uh, and then we're going to move on to next week. And, um, you know, I believe we're playing at home next week, right? So going back home and, uh, you know, obviously another great opportunity to, to, to face another great football team in the Rams. And, and we have a lot of respect for them and what they're doing and everything else. Uh, but we're going to prepare at the highest level and be ready to roll. Good to see 89 back up. It was great seeing Doug. I mean, he's, he's a superstar out there. He's made some great, great plays tonight. Um, he's going to make more and more just, um, you know, his knowledge of the game, what, what, what he's doing is, is spectacular, as good as it gets. So uh, he's a great competitor um, and just uh, one of the best receivers in the game. So it's always good to have him on the field. Anything else? Thanks, Russell. Thank you, guys. Go Hawks.